everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about the Share Content tab. The Share Content tab has a lot of great tools and content for you to use in your classroom, which is why I wanted to do a video that was solely based on this tab. Now, in order for us to get to this tab, we must first go to the lower right hand corner of the screen and look for that little purple tab with the two white arrows, which is the Collaborate panel, right? The Collaborate panel. When we click on the Collaborate panel, again, we see those little icons at the bottom. The one that looks like a little thought, which is that chat box. The one next to it with the two little people. Again, the attendee list tells us who is in the class or who is joining the class and what is their role. And finally, that little square with the arrow is going to be the Share Content tab. Now, when we select this tab, there are some different kinds of content. The first is primary content, the second is secondary content, and last, they have something called interact. We're gonna talk about each of these individually. Now, the first we're gonna talk about under primary content is called the share blank whiteboard. When I select the share blank whiteboard, I will get just that. It will be a blank whiteboard. Now at the top of my blackboard, right, of my whiteboard, um, I'm going to have some tools. I'm going to have uh, an arrow to select things. I am going to have a pointer so that I can point at different things in my PowerPoint. It's the only way they'll see what I'm pointing at. I will have a pencil where I can draw on the whiteboard. I will have a text box where I can write hello. And I will have a clear eraser. Now, please keep in mind that this eraser clears everything. So when you click clear, you will lose everything on the screen. So you don't wanna do this if you don't wanna lose a portion of the screen. You want to go ahead and not do this. Now, the next tool under primary content is the share application screen. Now you're gonna find that there are some files that aren't gonna be able to be dropped into the share file um, option because they do not have the right format. So that's why we're going to use the share application screen. In other words, if there was a video on YouTube, if there was something, um, another document or an Excel sheet that I wanted to show or share because I'm doing, um, maybe I'm doing open to buy, something of the sort, then I can go ahead and share that with the application screen. So I'm gonna select share application or screen. And it's gonna ask me which screen do I want to share. So in this case, I'm gonna select screen two. And you will see that I am sharing my screen with you. And it will just do that in a second. But it should be sharing shortly. There we go. And now it is sharing my screen with you. You guys can see my screen. Now, in order to stop sharing, I can go ahead and click on this little circle with the square in the middle and I can stop sharing my screen. Now, last under the primary content, we have share files. Here is where we can drop files such as PowerPoints, such as PDFs or even images. So I can add files by looking for them. So I can come here and look for my PowerPoint and open or I can also drag them into here. I can drag them into here. So I'll give my PowerPoint some time to upload and then we can go through how it works um, presenting that PowerPoint. Now, under secondary content, you will find polling. This polling option, when we select it, gives us a chance to ask our students either multiple choice questions and you can add choices or yes or no questions where you can get feedback as well. So yes or no questions or even multiple choice questions. So a great way to get the um, kids involved, right? The students involved and get them to have discussions, get them to participate. Now, under the secondary content, we have that thing we talked about called interact. Now, I really love interact because for my sake, for my classes, I have a lot of group projects. So I can give them time in class to work with their groups. Or if you don't have group projects, but you typically have discussions, you can do the same. So you can do breakout groups. You can break them out 
in groups by a custom assignment or it could randomly assign it for you. So here it will create separate classrooms, separate chat rooms for those students to go ahead and meet. And you as the moderator can join those classes. Now, if we go back to that share files tool, we'll go see if our PowerPoint is ready to show. All right, and it's still loading because I am uploading a video to YouTube at the moment, which is taking up most of my connection. However, just like the whiteboard, it would open as well here on this main area and it would allow us to go through each slide. If I were to select a smaller file, I'll go ahead and select this file. Here we go. This PDF, it will be quicker to load because I want to walk them through my rubric. I am going to upload this first. It's going to, of course, convert and download, and then I'm going to open it. So right now, I can click on it. I can click on Share Now, and here is my rubric. All right, it's going to come up now. There we go, and I can zoom in so I can make this bigger here on this little um, magnifying glass when I click on it it will give me some control so I can make this bigger I can again write text if I want to show my students something I can circle if I need to circle something same thing with your PowerPoint slide so again these are all of the tools that you can use under share content under that little square icon with the arrow um, share the whiteboard Right Again, write on your whiteboard, share application and screen if you want to share your screen, share files in order to upload and drag any files you need to show your class, polling if you want to do any sort of multiple choice questions, if you want to have some feedback of how the class went, did they enjoy the class today, or even breakout groups. Have them interact even though we are in an online meeting. We can still make those discussions happen. So again, any questions that you have about sharing content, please let me know when you guys are sharing content and you are recording, all of this will show in the recording. So just make sure that again, we find that little left-hand menu, we click on start recording. We are now recording. See how this is recording my screen, right? It's not recording a video of me, but instead it's recording my screen. If I had my video on and again, Hello, I can give a preview first, share video. I will actually be again at the bottom of the left hand screen. So the main most important thing that is showing is the content, is that content. So any questions that you guys may have, please feel free to ask. I am more than happy to answer them.